What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is Thomas with Big Rock Off-Road and so today we're going to be replacing the stock TJ uh, LJ tie rod because mine is bent and we're going to be replacing that with the V8 ZJ uh, tie rod upgrade. So I got these over here so let's go check them out. All right so as you can see uh, this is the V8 ZJ tie rod. I pulled it from LKQ at the, the junkyard. It was 30 bucks for the whole thing. Uh, so that was a pretty good deal. And then this, if it will focus, is the uh, TJ tie rod. You can see it's a little skinnier than what the ZJ one is, and it is bent. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that out. Um, should be pretty quick. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and remove this uh, cotter pin and knock that bolt out. Um, you'll drop it down. And then once that bolt is off, these are tapered. So you're gonna have to hit right here with a sledgehammer and it should just fall right out. Uh, same thing on this side. You got a cotter pin right here. So you're gonna go ahead and take that out and then a uh, tapered uh, stud in here as well. And so you're just gonna go ahead and knock that out after removing that uh, nut there, all right? All right, so we got the cotter pin off. Uh, next up, this bolt is a 19 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and zip this one off real quick. That's pretty much that. Throw that in the bucket. All right, and then we go on to the other side. And I've already zipped that one off. So now we'll just go ahead and uh, knock that out. Side by side, um, you have the ZJ1 on the top. Um, obviously a lot stouter and weighs a lot more than what the TJ1 does. Um, but the TJ1, the ends were pretty messed up. Really needed replacing. Uh, the ZJ1 has much, much bigger uh, tie rod ends on it too. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, we're running 35s on this Jeep. And so need all the support in the steering that we can get. Here we have it in position. Uh, so it's all ready to be bolted up. Now the torque spec on both of these ends is gonna be 55 foot pounds. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that. And then once we get all that in, I'll go ahead and do um, an alignment once I get the tires and everything back on. And then that should be pretty much it. Uh, if you got any questions, you know, drop them down in the comment box. Um, otherwise, this is a pretty easy upgrade. All right, so we got the Tecton torque wrench here uh, set to uh, 55. So we'll go ahead and tighten these down, and it'll be good as good as new. All right, so we got it all buttoned up, uh, tightened up. This is my DIY alignment tool. Um, it works pretty good. Got it towed in eighth of an inch. Um, and it should be good to go. I'm gonna slap the tires on and that will be done. See you next time. Thanks. Bye. 